Good morning. Cheers. Okay, so many of you ask me about what coffee I like, and I really love blue bottle coffee. So I actually have a subscription to them, and what I'm actually drinking today is the Hayes Valley Espresso. Let's see, it has notes of baking chocolate, orange zest, and brown sugar. I, I really only taste coffee. Just love blue bottle coffee because they have a really strong flavor, but it's still like really smooth. Oh, delicious. And you guys are always asking about my coffee machine <laughs> because I'm such a proclaimed coffee lover. So I have a Jura, that's the brand. And this model is the Enna Micro 9. I don't think that they make this particular model anymore, but they have something very similar, something with the word Enna, and something with the number nine in it, and I think it's very, very uh, similar to this one. But this one has like all the control buttons at the top here, so you can make one shot of espresso, um, an Americano, and then like, um, I think this is cappuccino and latte, um, and so there's like this... Uh, milk frothing situation and then in the back here is where you put the beans and then back here is where you put the water All right enough coffee talk. Obviously I am vlogging today. So I'm doing uh, basically like a quiet day at home during quarantine and I've had a lot of these <laughs> I've treated myself to a lot of just quiet kind of like self-care days uh, during this quarantine and I thought it would be fun to take you along with me even though we're just gonna be in this house and even though I'm just gonna be doing kind of like self pampering kind of stuff but I figured I'd show you like my morning skincare routine I've been taking baths so I thought I'd show you some of like the bubble bath I've been using I got this like really cool like bathtub caddy that I love so I thought I'd show you that and even when I've you know mentally set aside a day to just sort of pamper myself I still need to work a little bit. Um, it just makes me feel a little bit better. If I don't work at all, I feel a little bit antsy and that kind of, I don't know, it defeats the purpose of like relaxing. So I'll be answering some comments. Um, I actually have a podcast interview later with um, a friend of mine who has a podcast. So that'll be fun. So that's going to be like the extent of my working today. So I'm pretty much just going to be lounging around in my pajamas all day. Speaking of which, I have my silk pajamas on. I hauled these for you guys uh, like maybe two haul, two or three hauls ago. Anyway, Lily Silk uh, sent these to me and they've actually offered to sponsor this video. So this vlog is sponsored by Lily Silk and I did not hesitate in partnering with them because I've been wearing these pajamas ever since that haul and I'm gonna go so far as to say that I find these to be game changers. So I've always been that person that just wore like, you know, a t-shirt and some like cotton kind of like stretchy yoga pants or something to bed. That's always been my pajamas. I never even thought twice about it, but I get really, really hot when I sleep and it's so uncomfortable and our dog sleeps with us and she gets really hot and I'll wake up in the middle of the night and this has been happening more and more i know my age but since i started wearing this i feel like there's like a bit of temperature control with silk and i think there is i feel like because they're so cool to the touch even though you know silk is fairly insulating it really helps keep me cool so i still don't have a full length mirror i tried getting one before quarantine started and since it started i'm not going to go out just for that so i'm going to lay these pajamas out actually on my bed and just show you some of the details because these are so well thought out so first of all on the back of the collar here there's like a little hang tag which I love because I just love hanging my pajamas on the back of my bathroom door. Best little feature ever. Sorry, my refrigerator just turned off, it's so loud. So it has that and then these pockets are real pockets. Usually what I do during the day, if I'm home all day, I'll just throw my hoodie on and not necessarily because I'm cold 
or whatever, but I need pockets in whatever I'm wearing. And if I just have my t-shirt on, if I just have those cotton kind of yoga pants on, neither of those have pockets. So I love the fact that these have pockets. These cuffs are actual real cuffs. Like nothing is like a faux, nothing is like just for looks. I was really, really impressed with like all of the detailing here. And then the pants have like a drawstring uh, waist, but they have an elastic back. So I've gotten these drawstrings tied at the perfect sort of length so that they don't fall down but if i just stretch out the elastic a little bit i can just pull my pants down so i love that i don't like having to like untie and retie my drawstring every single time so i just love this combo of like the drawstring <laughs> with the elastic back and then there's beautiful piping around um, the cuff of these pants so i am just thrilled with these lily silk pajamas i I really, I didn't know what to expect because, you know, this is so different from a cotton t-shirt and cotton pajama bottoms, but I really love it. And I haven't been waking up in the middle of the night kind of like hot and like kicking my blanket off or anything. It's really been awesome. So um, I'm going to link to these pajamas down below in my description box. Um, I also have a coupon code for an additional 12% off. It is Michelle 12. Um, all of it will be down below in the description box. Uh, they run sales quite a bit. This is in the color navy, which of course I'll list down below so you don't have to remember. I also, this is a size extra large. I wanted something quite roomy, but I have to say, it's not like I'm swimming in this. I am, I wanna say I range between like a size 10 and like 14. It just kind of depends on how the cut is or whatever. So, so hopefully that'll help. Um, if you need reference but yeah it's just it's really comfy the sleeves are a little bit long but I happen to have like the world's shortest arms um, so I expected that and when I have my slippers on the cuffs don't hit the floor but as you can see my slippers are pretty thick and I'm 5'5 five five. so again just for your reference and while I've got you up here on my bed showing you my pajamas I thought I would show you also the silk pillowcases that Lily Silk has. So they sent these over to me as well. I happen to have a king size bed. So these are king size pillowcases, but I just wanted to show them to you. I just got them in white and this is a pillowcase that I've already washed. So I washed it in cold water, I hung it dry, and then I just quickly like did a cool iron over it. Really easy to maintain. And there is this like, envelope pocket opening so like your pillow will stay in there nicely so that's the pillowcase there it is on my pillow so i have been loving this for much of the same reason i love the pajamas because it's very cooling the silk definitely helps with my bed head <laughs> in the mornings when i wake up my hair is not nearly as crazy as it is if i sleep on a pillowcase like this one my my cotton one so much smoother your hair just kind of glides right over it so i have been loving these as well and yeah these just are awesome so huge, huge thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I just am so in love with these pajamas. Miss Butters. <gasps> Good morning. How are you, baby? How are you? Oh, stretchies. <laughs> so Miss Butters here is experiencing really bad seasonal allergies. She's been scratching herself. If I wasn't holding the vlogging camera right now, I would be stopping her. Hold on. Um, I just picked up some medication from the vet's office. Oh, I know, I know. And just started giving it to her. So hopefully it will help. She's been scratching herself so bad that she has like these little cuts on her face. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping the medication will kick in quickly, but we just started giving it to her yesterday. So we'll see. Hi, baby. You ready for breakfast? So I'm just going to answer some comments on YouTube. I usually give myself like, like a time period to answer some comments in the morning, however much time I have. Um, otherwise you could spend like quite literally all day <laughs> replying to comments between YouTube and Instagram and DMs and everything. So I just give myself like a little bit of a time period. So I'm going to do it for the next 20 minutes and um, I'm going to shower and do all that kind of stuff, but I'm going to enjoy my coffee, answer some comments. And I think many of you have asked me like where my glasses are from, which I think is so funny because 
they're hysterical to me. But these are actually like Gucci, I don't know if you can see that, but these are like Gucci sunglasses. And when I was at my optometrist's office, I was like, I just like really big frames. And they just kept showing me these, you know, regular kind of eyeglass frames. And I was like, no, those, those aren't big enough. And then I saw the sunglasses and I was like, can I put regular lenses in there? And she was like, uh, sure, if you want. <laughs> Uh, but then they were running this special because I ended up getting two frames But they were running this special where if you got these like transition lenses in here You got the second pair of frames like half off like some really amazing deal I'm not the biggest fan of transition lenses because I don't I wear contacts generally And so I don't wear these out and I really don't like this like light I think you guys can see they have this like light tint to them Which I'm not a fan of but it probably does help protect my eyes so whatever but anyway just wanted to let you know because so many of you when i vlogged last time i got so many comments like where are your glasses from i was like really these big old things but anyway they're gucci sunglasses let me see if there's like a model number wow there's a lot of numbers in here well i'll leave it down below in the description box if you're interested but yeah and they have this like cool detail at the bottom or end of the legs here really cool Okay, so <laughs> if you've been with me for, I don't know, at least a year, I want to say, um, I was doing more live streams and I remember I was getting, <clears throat> excuse me, I was getting ready to go out for dinner. Anyway, long story short, um, there are a pair of pants that I always wear when I go out because they're elastic waisted. And when I go out to eat, I'm usually going out for like a steak or something. So anyway, they've been very lovingly nicknamed steak pants. And, um, and for a while on my live streams, <laughs> people would ask if I was wearing hashtag steak pants. So I just got an email from Everlane, which is where I got my original steak pants. And they've come out with like all of these new elastic waisted pants. So I thought I would take you shopping with me because yes. Okay, here is a pair, the Easy Straight Leg Chino. I like them tapered a little bit more, but I will, I'll take it <laughs> just for the elastic waist. They also have shorts version. I won't be getting those. I don't really wear shorts that often. Um, and then they have elastic waisted chinos, <laughs> the easy chino. So, and these look a little bit more tapered. So I think I'll get some of these too. Oh, and they have shorts of those as well. All right, so obviously I need to get black. And in Everlane, I think I'm a 12. I'm gonna go with 12 just because I feel like, again, these aren't pants that I want like tight in any way. <laughs> I feel like in Everlane I'm either 10 or 12. So I'm gonna go with 12. I'm gonna add these in. What color are these? Amber. Let me get the amber. I have so many black tops. I think that'll look nice with black tops. Okay, let's do the easy chino. Of course I'll do black, size 12. And then, let's see. Do I want to do the same? It's like the same color story. I like what I like, right? Okay, add to back. All right, I'm gonna get those four pairs of pants and I think I'll be set <laughs> for summertime. It is breakfast time. We're gonna have lots and bagels. <laughs> we have some onion and chive cream cheese from Einstein Brothers, along with some everything bagels from Einstein Brothers. And they're not the best bagels in the world, but they'll do. <laughs> coffee subscription box for this month so I thought I'd open it up with you guys. Ooh, it's the dandy espresso. 
So I get two bags. I think right now I get two bags every month, which I think is a little bit too much. So I may actually uh, like downshift to maybe three bags every two months or do two bags every two months or a bag a month basically, <laughs> see what happens. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay. All right, what does it say about the Dandy Espresso? This blend is delicate, refreshing, and exuberant, like a sunny day or a frolic on the beach, or the daydream you indulge in when you're stuck in traffic. If that all sounds very LA, it is. Once a favorite espresso blend in our LA cafes, this washed Latin American coffee is now one we reserve just for our online customers. Deliciousness, it is zesty, eloquent, and refreshing. Well, I am excited to try the Dandy Espresso. Just like the name. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy my second cup of coffee in my teddy bear mug. Uh, I'm gonna take a shower and then we will jump into my morning skincare routine. I know you guys have been asking me for this and I've done a, a couple videos at least on my routine and it really doesn't change that much, but um, I thought I would actually like put it on for you guys because usually I'm just sitting in front of the camera talking about the products. So we will put that on together, but I'm gonna shower and I'll be right back. All right, so I just showered, I washed my face, and I washed my face with my Kerweiss uh, cleanser. I'm getting down to the bottom of it. I've been using some other cleansers. I have a lot of like daytime cleansers, but I really like using this one when I don't really have like a lot of grime on my face. For example, like I haven't just worked out or I didn't put like a heavy mask on my face the night before or something like that. If I just want like a nice kind of like light moisturizing cleaner. This is such a great one. So that is what I use to clean my face in the shower. And I actually just brought out all the products that I'm going to be using here. So that's my toner. That's what I'm going to be using next. Um, my Sicily lotion, my serum, my oil, my neck cream, my eye cream, and then the moisturizer that I'm going to be using today. So I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but this is my vanity. So I just have my skincare out here. Um, I put away a lot of the other stuff that I'm not using just so it didn't clutter it up for you guys. Um, but I've got my silk flowers here from Diane James. These are super, super duper old. In fact, you can see that this one's broken. But I got those in New York City. So this bouquet is probably maybe like 10 years old, but they're just, they're beautiful. Best silk flowers out there. <laughs> if you're interested. And then I've got some pure cottons from Kogendo. These are like the Shiseido facial cottons, um, but they sent these to me and these are like undyed. So they're a little bit more natural and they're actually a little bit bigger. And then some of my bath stuff from Laura Jones and Suzanne Kaufman. Oh, and I hauled this in my Sephora VIB sale haul and I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it. So now it's sitting on top of my uh, toilet. And I've got my body lotion here, which is almost done. This is the Aesop rind concentrate body lotion almost done i'm using that orbe hand scrub like tube roller thing i'm using that to get all of the lotion out because this is a metal tube first up is toner so i love the la mer the tonic this is the toner that i've been using fairly religiously for like two or three years it's just such a great post cleanse step for me because it kind of like just resets the ph on my skin so i use i actually use half of one of these coke and dough wipes because they are so big so i don't like cut them in half i just split it like so and then i take one half and i just fold it fold it in half because i really don't need that much for the toner step so i just gently wipe all over my skin I have a lovely zit growing right there. And then next is my Sisley Sislier um, Essential Skincare Lotion. It helps like the efficiency of all of your other skincare, kind of helps penetrate the skin. So I just use one pump, not that much, and I just swipe it all over. And of course, I always wait for my toner to soak all the way in before I proceed with this step. And usually, if I wasn't doing my skincare with you guys, usually what I do is like a couple steps of my skincare routine and then I do something else because I really like the products to you know soak in and do their thing. So like at this point, I would probably, I don't know, brush my teeth or something or floss, or I would put a serum in my hair or something. I just like breaking up my skincare steps so that each 
product kind of has time to soak in and do its business. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of run through everything with you guys since I'm just kind of showing you guys what my routine is. Next up is my Sisley Pure Bright Activating Serum. I have been loving this and I use two pumps day and night and I just massage it into my entire face <laughs> and down my neck or up my neck I should say. And of course, any extra skincare I have, I always just put it all over my hands. And in fact, I probably pump out a little bit too much skincare for my face because now I'm used to like putting the extra on my hands at this point. These next two steps, I have kind of fallen back into the habit of doing, uh, but I've mentioned this before, like eye cream and this is neck cream. These are two things, like if I'm in a rush or if I'm just feeling lazy, these are definitely the first steps to kind of fall by the wayside while I'm doing my routine. But because I've had a little bit more extra time on my hands these past few weeks, um, I have been incorporating these uh, into my morning skincare routine again. So this is the Sicily eye and lip contour cream and i've had this for i think at least a year now at this point and i'm finally like making a major dent in there but this is such a rich beautiful cream and i'm always afraid i'm gonna get you know melia around my eyes and so i remember when i was starting with this product i was really really careful i was just putting a little bit on a little bit on never got melia and in fact i think when i first got this i had a little bit of melia on the inner portion of my lid over here and i don't want to say that this got rid of it but it did go away so i know this doesn't kind of contribute to my melia problem so i put it on my lid under my eyes and i'm not i'm not that fussy i know people like to you know tap or do all these things to put eye cream on i just i just kind of rub it in <laughs> i'll press maybe my lids but underneath my eyes i'll kind of rub towards my temple here. And I have super dry eyelids, which I guess is kind of rare. I always talk about how people have really oily eyelids, but I have super dry eyelids. So I like putting it on the lid and under as well. And then this neck cream is from Amor Vixa, and it is called the Firming Neck Cream. It is also quite thick. And what I do is I kind of split some between my hands and I just bring it up. I like massaging it like underneath my jaw here. This, by the way, is like a deluxe sample size. I think I got in maybe like one of those Barney's bags that they used to do, the love yourself bags. Uh, anyway, and this has lasted me so long. Granted, it's not something I do every morning, but I really like this cream. It smells nice too. Yeah, it's lovely. So that is the firming neck cream from Amora Vixa. Next, I'm going to take my Kipris Beauty Elixir One Oil. This is the 1000 roses oil and i take about i don't know two or three drops not much at all this is a fairly thick oil i don't know if you guys can see and when it comes to oil i don't really like rub it in i just kind of press it onto my skin and my neck and then i'm going to use my sisley youth um what is this called the energizing super hydrating youth protector it has like a blue light shield in it and since i'm spending all day at home and i've been spending a lot of time at home i've kind of rediscovered this i was using this quite a bit when they first sent it to me um and then you know with all testing skincare and everything this kind of fell to the wayside so i resurrected this maybe a couple of weeks ago when i was like you know this is great for home because it has that blue light shield but it's also supposed to help protect your skin just from like random environmental things like indoor environmental issues like lighting um, fumes that may come off of the paint on your walls when you cook all of that heat and everything so that's why i've been loving this really like kind of the perfect product now that we're home <laughs> so i'm just going to pump out like two small pumps not too much and I know there's always discussion about, you know, do you put moisturizer on first or do you put oil on first? Whenever I've spoken to anyone at Sisley, and I use a lot of their products, as, as you've noticed, um, they always tell me to put the moisturizer on last because it's sort of a protectant, especially one like this. If you have this or you have the Sisley like all day, all year, 
um, even their creams, like I use their Velvet Nourishing Cream, and that has a lot of shea butter, which is an inclusive, they always suggest putting it on top of their oils. So I always use moisturizer as my last step, but I think you can kind of flip-flop them depending on your preference. And something I've been meaning to do, and I've been putting it off, because usually I get ready and then I go and film, and I don't want to have these in while I'm filming, but these are the Crest White Strips. These are the Supreme Flex Fit. They whiten like a $500 professional treatment. They do do a good job, they really do. They kind of just take the edge off and they kind of just, I don't know, like if your teeth are just kind of like unevenly stained, it'll like kind of even them out a little bit. And because I drink so much coffee, I really need to do this probably more often than I do. And I used to be a really heavy smoker, so I just have like staining or I just feel like my teeth stain more quickly than someone who never smoked, so. Anyway, I don't know if you guys have ever used these before, but they are, they're really handy and you just have to put them on for an hour and you can still talk and like function. It's not like you can't do anything with these in, but they do kind of look a little funny. So in each packet, there's like two strips. This is for the upper and this is for the lower teeth. So I just press it down and then I kind of like stick it, I kind of stick my finger into any of the crevices and then I fold it under. <laughs> Did you guys understand that? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave these in for an hour. I'm gonna dry my hair, probably just kind of chill out downstairs and I'll probably see you guys back for lunch. Again, more eating. You guys, I am outside on my patio and we just discovered there's this nest full of little chickies. Can you see them? My God, they're so cute. They made this nest on top of our <laughs> umbrella. <laughs> oh, oh, they're so cute. Look how yellow their little beaks are. Hi, babies. I think that's the mommy bird that I hear probably pissed off I'm so close to this nest so I'm gonna go back inside now okay finished with lunch and now it is homemade chocolate chip cookie time. So I just bake four cookies at a time. So I'm just using like a toaster oven size like cookie sheet. I just put a little piece of parchment paper down and I made this cookie dough, I don't know, maybe four or five days ago and we've just been scooping it out <laughs> and putting it on the sheet uh, four at a time. The key to a successful cookie is to not just turn it into a round ball, but that you have it really dense. That's how you make sure they stay chewy. Put it down on the parchment paper and then I smush it down just a little bit. It's still round, but it's not gonna move. It's just not gonna roll. And then if you're a fan of like sweet and salty, which I am, I just take some coarse sea salt and I press just a few crystals onto the center of the cookie. This recipe, by the way, is just the Nestle Toll House recipe. Very, very popular, and you can find it on the internet by Googling it. And then in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes. So I'm taking a bath, obviously, 
and I've never really been a bath or big bath taker. You know, I took them every once in a while, not really my thing. Um, but I started taking baths like, I want to say late last year. No, not even that late last year, last fall, we'll say. I hurt my back, and so I started taking baths before I went to sleep to kind of like relax the muscle, and it helped so much. And ever since then, I've been kind of hooked on taking baths. So it's just a great way for me to relax, a great way for you to relax if you're into it. And so I usually come in with my iPad, I pour myself a little seltzer. <laughs> this is a virgin beverage. And then sometimes I'll do a mask. So this Sisley Velvet Sleeping Mask is my favorite. So I think I'm gonna put that on today. My face can always use a little bit of help, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I've got the book that I'm reading in my iBooks on my iPad. So I just pull that up, I'll probably read a couple chapters while I'm sitting here soaking. And yeah, I'll probably stay here for about a half hour. I don't know, I don't usually bathe for that long. I think that's pretty much when you start getting pruney. So I'm just gonna have a nice relaxing soak.